Greetings to all learners. Myself, Sharda Devri, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati, Maharashtra. Welcomes you to the lecture 13, that is Value Added Products, Ayush Products, Food, Nutraceuticals, Cosmetics and Agrochemicals, Entrepreneurship and Startup Opportunities in Plants, that is a Licensing and Manufacturing. Under the week 3, that is a Product Development, Value Addition and Entrepreneurship Startup Opportunities. First, we will learn that what is value addition. Um, under that, uh, which processes are called as value addition and what is the market of uh, after the such a type of the processing. So, uh, value addition uh, processes ranges from the very simple drying technique to the very complicated product development techniques also. And according to that also, the profit is, uh, um, profit can be considered. So, uh, simple processing like the drying or uh, making the powder of the plant material, medicinal plant material or converting these uh, uh, harvested, collected plant material into the nutraceutical products like that of the granules or drops or jam, jelly, pickle, juices or uh, biscuits or candies or other type of the uh, market demanded nutraceutical products then extract preparations that water extract alcohol extract any other solvent extracts then volatile oil fatty oil extractions or juice preparations so uh, these all processing involves the or called as a value addition and this value addition is very important because it is having the market and where it is having the market like that of essential oil is having the 7% of the market. In a pharmaceuticals, this type of value addition is having the 70% of market. Spices and herbs is having 11% of market and natural cosmetics that is called as a herbal cosmetic is having the 12% of the market. Then uh, phytotherapy, nutritional supplement, aromatherapy, Ayush products, uh, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals together are in need of the value added products from the medicinal and aromatic plants. So just uh, cultivation and harvesting or collection from the wild sources uh, should not be considered. Means uh, the approach should not be limited only uh, for the agriculture or only for the uh, collection of this. Those who are not having the farm, those who are not having the land or those who cannot not able to uh, go for the collection and all these things they can start the uh, processing units or processing startups uh, processing uh, companies uh, of the herbal drugs medicinal and aromatic plants and uh, further uh, they can contribute to the nation development then why to develop the value added products uh, this is very most important thing that medicinal plant when uh, cultivated and they are harvested then they are generally just uh, primarily processed for the removal of the dust debris uh, or any other foreign matter foreign material from that uh, harvested or collected plant material but farmers or these type of the cultivators or growers or uh, uh, the labor should consider that of a value addition from the point of view of a storage depending upon the market demand. Suppose uh, while or at the time of the harvesting there is a, a price drop in the market then the, it should be get stored in a dried form or in a powder form. Then when we are uh, adding the value by the drying or uh, its size reduction then it improves the stability also. Then due to the uh, combination of the products or due to the various types of development of the products like nutraceutical, cosmetics or agriculture, there is a fortification. There is There are enormous employment avenues uh, of, uh, from the farmers. The farmers can become the entrepreneurs. Then international platforms are nowadays available due to the digital uh, advancement, digital technologies. Uh, the world is uh, so close to each other. So due to that import export becomes easy and international platform is available uh, to the farmers or cultivars, uh, those who are having an interest in the medicinal plant cultivation. Then there is a great demand of the uh, medicinal plants, aromatic plants throughout the world and being a uh, 
rich heritage uh, means we india is having a rich heritage of the very traditionally practiced medicinal system that is ayurveda siddha yunani and we have the great biodiversity from north to south and from east to west so number of medicinal plants can be cultivated and converted to, to the various products by the value addition and uh, we have means uh, the products from the india is having a different type of the beliefs uh, in a world market so consumer satisfaction is possible and the most important thing it is that rural entrepreneurship for which we are dreaming since last many years can be possible with the value added products of the medicinal plants let's discuss some examples of value addition of medicinal plants under that the first one it is the methi which is also called as the fenugreek trigonella foinum grecum its leaves and seeds are commonly utilized and in india it is uh, very popular for its anti diabetic uh, as well as the uh, anti arthritic anti inflammatory properties even for the skin and uh, healthy skin and healthy hair uh, these its seeds are utilized commonly utilized so from the cultivation point of view or from the collection point of view we, if we see that the cultivated uh, fenugreek leaves are uh, need to be immediately marketed as a vegetable but if farmers give attention that uh, if there is a uh, price drop then its leaves should be get dried or some of the uh, leaves some of the crop of this methi should be dried or it should uh, should be pr produced and that should be get dried it should be get powdered so this will have the lot market due to the increase in the stability as well as um, its price will be get also increase so more benefits will be to the farmers as well as to the growers of this uh, methi or fenugreek seeds its products also can be further developed uh, if uh, Uh, if uh, there is a uh, financial assistance or if such a farmers are interested to develop its cosmetic products like that hair oil or massage oils uh, then its anti diabetic uh, formula that is anti diabetic churna or its anti diabetic syrup even the uh, the medicated teas of this methi can be prepared next it is the vasaka this is also a very commonly uh, found plant uh, throughout the india and it is having the very good uh, benefit for the cough and cold treatment uh, for respiratory tract infections its leaves and flowers are utilized so uh, if uh, after uh, cultivation Uh, someone is interested in its value addition then its leaves powder or flower powder or its leaf flower extracts its uh, uh, syrups or its various uh, um, drops for the common cold cough treatment respiratory tract infections can be marketed next example it is uh, from the aromatic uh, plant that is a rose which is uh, very popular uh, for its uh, health benefits means uh, in traditionally also in various text it is uh, mentioned that it is having the lot of benefits uh, as especially the nutraceutical benefits for its uh, um, various minerals or vitamins then it is having the flavonoids that are antioxidant in nature so antioxidant um, chemicals phytochemicals are found to be good anti diabetic as well as anti cancer they are found to be anti aging Uh, they are useful in obesity management and they are actually useful in overall uh, health uh, management so its rose oil or rose water is commonly uh, demanded it means it's having a common demand in the cosmetic market as well as in the food industry nutraceutical products like the uh, especially the gulkanda which is very famous uh, nutraceutical product and nowadays its powders its churnas or its teas uh rose teas are available in a market or having the demand actually no one want to take just a tea if it is a medicated tea it's having a lot of benefit so from this point of view also this uh, roses uh, uh, should be utilized for that purpose next medicinal plant it is the neem margosa which is uh, called as or azadricta indica uh, this uh, plant is native to the india and very popular in our uh, all ancient systems of medicine due to its uh, different benefits it's each and every part that is a bark leaf fruits flowers 
its seeds are found to be utilized in number of uh, benefits like bark is useful or its uh, leaf powder is utilized for the oral hygiene or healthy uh, teeth then its leaf or uh, seed oil extract is good anti insecticidal um, flowers are uh, useful for the treatment of the various types of the skin problems or respiratory problems we can see that the, the uh, its uh, leaves powder or fruits powder or fruits oil if we can make and sell in the market then also it's having the huge demand we have seen that um, the neem face wash has changed the market of the uh, face wash uh, Uh, in the country even throughout the world just the addition of the word neem has increased the uh, product value there were so many face wash since uh, last many years but uh, when uh, there is a entry of the neem face wash in a market so it is a belief that it can cure the various skin problems and it will be really useful so uh, this type of the value addition utilization in the different products cosmetics food in uh, pesticide or that is agriculture toiletry preparations that is a margosa soap uh, it is also commonly uh, preferred that it can be useful uh, type of the preparation so this plant is also very uh, good example of the value addition and startup and entrepreneurship opportunities for the farmers as well as the um, women groups then the youngsters those who want to enter into the world of the entrepreneurship next it is the safed musalli uh, the most of the part of the uh, india is uh, having a suitable climatic condition for the safed musalli that is a chlorophytum borovillianum or chlorophytum arundinaceum uh, chlorophytum tuberosum uh, species cultivation so one should not stop again i am telling you that one should not stop only for the cultivation or collection but they must go for the value addition so as to develop the Uh, own company as well as to get the more pro profit so just cultivated and sell in a market instead of that dry them powder them prepare its uh, sugar sticks or candies or its uh, various products that are uh, in uh, means according to the consumer demand or what this uh, today's generation need of such a product should be developed and the market should be get captured with such a products then how to sell the medicinal plants and derived products this is very important aspect that since last 10 11 lectures we are studying that the medicinal uh, plants of uh, india uh, that are traditionally utilized uh, they have the a uh, lot of health benefits as well as the huge demand in the market but when we are start cultivating or when we are start collecting or when we are the um, middle uh, man for the medicinal plant and its products so how to sell it so you must first find out the local market start with the uh, uh, small quantity and uh, after that you start uh, you go for the regional level then national level and then international level markets but initially you have to start with the local market only then you have to find out the nearby processing units suppose uh, if you are in a maharashtra and you want to cultivate certain aromatic plants so i have told you that most of the uh, aromatic plants need to be processed freshly for the essential oil extraction so you have to identify nearby processing units small industries then you have to supply the uh, raw material that is available with you either cultivated or collected you should make certain type of the contracts or types with them you have to find out the mdc areas that is the um, industry development areas then you have to find out the ayurveda and unani doctors uh, so that they can prescribe your products uh, like that churnas or powders because these doctors have the um, authority to use or identify means properly identified materials to use for the patients then there is pharmacy college ayurvedic uh, colleges also and the medical shops uh, uh, you can sell there local traditional healers also used to purchase the medicinal plants that are either collected or cultivated or you can even direct contact to the direct consumers through the various online uh, platform just you have to maintain the ethics integrity reality and moral of this uh, medicinal and aromatic plant business then uh, in maharashtra there is a maharashtra ayurveda center private limited in pune and that also involves in the uh, guidance technical guidance as well as uh, give us the contract processing of the medicinal products
then entrepreneurship and startup opportunities in plants that is through the licensing or uh, you can start the manufacturing means third party licensing is possible if you don't have the manufacturing capacity or financial assistance if you want to do it then you can do the retail or wholesale um, uh, shops for these uh, medicinal plant and uh, aromatic plants and its derived products you have to take appropriate licenses from the either means food products from fsci for the ayush products that ayurveda yunani siddha then from the ayush uh, um, um, organizations then uh, for the drugs now then you have to take the license from the cdsco like that then same is applicable for the manufacturing comp company industry for import and export of the medicinal plants also you have to take the appropriate type of the licensings and permissions and then you can uh, market these products as a ayush products or pharmaceuticals or cosmetics nutraceuticals spices or agrochemicals so you can start from the small uh, ventures and then you can slowly develop you can collect the uh, connect with the uh, local regional and national people and then you can team up, up uh, for the um, expansion of your business so in this lecture 13 we have studied that what is value addition what are the steps that are involved in the value addition from simple steps to the complex and how they are uh, giving the more benefits more profits and uh, these are generating the entrepreneurship and startup opportunities from the uh, small scale to the uh, commercial scale large scale and even up to the import and export from the point of view of the international market thank you